Hello, it's Carolyn from The Purple Poncho. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crochet cord. It only takes three stitches and it's an easy repeat. And it's so pretty. It looks like continuous chains all the way around. Make a slip knot. And there's lots of ways to make a slip knot. This is how I make mine. And I'm using a size J crochet hook or 6 millimeter. And this is just for demonstration. Uh, you can use any size yarn, thread, nylon, rope. Uh, whatever uh, you want to work with. This is just a um, number six bulky yarn so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. But you can use any size um, or any type of fiber that you like. Okay so I have my slip knot and I'm going to chain three so yarn over and pull through. There's one, two, and three. Now this is kind of to me like a Tunisian uh, crochet project because we're gonna leave the loops on our hook. You can use a regular crochet hook because there's only three loops. So I have one loop on my hook already. So looking at our chain I'm gonna skip the stitch down below here because my loop on my hook is coming out of that first chain there. See that? So that's our first stitch. Okay. Rotate my chain, go into the back bump, yarn over and pull up a loop, and now go into the last stitch, find that back bump, yarn over and pull up a loop. So now I have three loops on my hook and I'm going to have a nice chain edge at the bottom of my cord. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take two fingers. I take my middle finger in the back and my thumb in the front and I pinch the stitches together, all three of them, and I'm holding them together tight. Now we're going to take out our hook until we have one loop on our hook. Okay, now I'm going to come over here while I'm still pinching, okay, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the first chain, pull up a loop. Now I'm going to go into my middle stitch or the second stitch and yarn over and pull through, okay, and now to complete the row go into the last stitch, yarn over and pull through. So that's made a little chain here. That's our first row down here. I have three V stitches. So now I can let go. Those are all secure now. So I have one here on the edge and I have one in the middle and I have one on the other edge. And that is basically how we do this whole cord. So my yarn, my working yarn, is on my left. Okay. So that's going to be important later on. So again, I'm going to grab grab my work and then I'm going to take out my hook until I get to that first stitch. Leave that one on your hook. Yarn over. And when you yarn over, don't pull too tight because you're going to make that third stitch right here shrink down. So just gently pull through, not pulling too tight. Go into the second loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then go into that, it already did, you see how it's kind of smaller? Go into that last stitch, Okay, put that back on your hook, and if you don't know where you're at, if you look at the back, you see that my my working yarn is coming out of that second stitch. 
so you know you haven't worked your last stitch yet. That's one way to tell. So yarn over and pull up a loop. And you can see my tension is already getting tighter, very much so. And that's the only hard thing about this um, uh, cord, is keeping your tension the same. Okay, like either tight or loose or in between. Okay, so again, I'm pinching, taking out my hook, yarn over, pull through, go in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then the last stitch, yarn over, and pull through. So I have three rows. My first row is really, really loose, and now my next two rows are more more in line with each other. They're more uniform in size. This is something that you need to, well, I need to practice a few rows and then maybe take it out and start again until you get a nice rhythm and start your project. It's fun though and it's really pretty. So I'm just repeating. So I'm yarning over, gently pull through your first stitch, and then you can see it's your yarn is attached to the first stitch. Go into the second, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now it's attached to your second stitch. Go into the third in the center, and yarn over and pull up a loop. So when your yarn is is on the last stitch, you know you've completed that whole row. Now, let's say, okay, I'm, I'll do it an example here. So I'm going to pull, I'm pulling my working yarn tight and I'm making this first stitch real small. Okay, so let's just say we pull too tight and now we know that that last stitch is not going to be the same height as the rest of this row. Okay, can't even get my hook in there. <laughs> and then yarn over and pull up. And I can feel it pulling down because this one is a lot smaller. Okay, so let's say we want to take it out. So we want to take it out. So there's one, two, and three. And then bring the yarn back over to that edgy that edge stitch here, that third stitch and pull it up a little bit. And then you can go ahead and insert your crochet hook back in all three loops and then try again and pull it down just a tad. Make sure they're all about the same height. And then pinch and release and try again. So if you want to take it out that's how you can tell where you're at and what stitch you're on and then how to correct the tension to be a little more even. So that's how you make it. It's really fun. Oops, I pulled that one a little tight. You just see it go down? Okay. So yeah, it just takes some practice, but look how pretty it is already. And then as you're working, it will just curl around itself. Okay. So there really is like a row, but then as you go, it kind of curls around each other and it makes it look continuously connected all the way around in a circle. So it makes a pretty cord. And then the V's are going See, here's the back actually. But the V's are so close together that it looks like it's all connected. Okay, so to end this off, you can just yarn over and pull through, and pull through, and pull through, and then make a chain and end off.
Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this beautiful crochet cord. I think it could be considered a even a, in between a Tunisian cord and a regular crochet cord. It's kind of using both techniques. It's really really fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make it and thank you for crocheting with me and have a wonderful day.